Welcome everybody to Diplomacy is Not an Option. This is a big, difficult wave survival game in which I have some idea of what's going on around me as usual in these games. I'm gonna go ahead and pause because it's extremely difficult uh, and just say a few things really quick before I get started. I uh, discovered it mainly due to Splattercat, so uh, he sent us a raid the other day uh, and he was playing it and he seemed to be enjoying it. And a big thanks to Door407, the devs for the key. Um, I'm still kind of looking for how is it how is it uh, adding more to the uh, the formula uh, that I just spake of, but I'm I'm curious to know more because it's really satisfying to play this game and very satisfying to get raided. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just queue a few things that we'll need right from the beginning because I need to be very careful. It's very very difficult, and I had to turn down the difficulty because the game is so hard, uh, and I was struggling, and I was. I was crying and screaming in the last uh, in the last time we tried Great it out. Intro now, redo it in Australian. Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> ah, yes, my my Australian accent is is really spot on. I even I am frightened of how good my Australian accent is. Um, hmm, we've got the lumber mill mm, right here. I, now I really need to be careful with these trees. I'm like agonizing a lot because I want this run to go well. I'm like, I'm upset. And I'm also having a good time as well. Uh, we don't really have very good stone mountain locations, but okay, let's just go ahead and let's let some stuff happen. Let's make some mistakes. And let's get started. Let's get started. Triple G, thank you very much for the 300 bits and also for complimenting me on my introductory skills. Um, well, in which I am so good at explaining the game. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, not funny. Not very funny, uh, alas. Alright, so we've got a mountain over here. Um, I don't really want to use up resources on things that will not be named, but we can set patrol routes for our troops. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this because I have only one mind, and the mind can do only one thing at a time. But if we, here we go. We'll put one archer here. These archers are mainly just for vision. So if I have one patrol like here, one patrol here, I just desperately feel the need to have myself surrounded by a group of like-minded individuals who are are all working in unison for my defense. You know. Um, so we've given our villagers a handful of work to do right now. Consuming 21 food per day, we, we're going to need to up that number. Um, uh, what else have we not built? We, we will need that stone, we will need that stone. Storage, well, we're doing enough at our town hall, so I don't think it's necessarily necessary. And we will want to put some of these things uh, in just places. Um, I will build the cemetery. It has a limited radius, but we need to keep burying our people. Our people will be attacked by peasants and uh, rise back up as zombies throughout the game. It's just a, an awful wave defense in which I am generally depressed for most of it. I, I really do experience like great mental anguish when I play games like this. It's a good time though. I enjoy the mental anguish. Like I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm having fun, but it, it's also just... I experience great adversity when I do when I play these types of games. Um, uh, it's kind of like getting done with something that you that you really didn't want to do, but I also want to do it at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So there we are. Good. We've got one lumber mill going up, so that means that we'll be able to fund the other lumber mill. I was worried that I didn't have enough oh, to fund yeah. even one of the lumber mills there for a second. But it looks like we have discovered some natural barriers for our yeah. home. So I'll put you over there, oh, and eventually we'll set up control groups for these guys and, you know, patrol them around a little bit more intelligently. But, mm -hmm. I, again, it does kind of play a lot like they are billions, oh, with a couple Lord. of exceptions. Uh, like Frostpunk, I've never actually okay. played Frostpunk, and I know, like, You're like, I am a heretic for saying Let's that. Go. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I've never played Frostpunk. Okay, so we've discovered the periphery of our main first base areas that we've got kind of like this area here, we've got this area here, and this area here. So now we'll set out our patrols and just focus on our economy. Um, and we'll also set a group of guys over here who we can just call upon in case if there's ever any emergency and we need to get everyone out of the street. Um, Ultimately, I would like to build wooden towers, watchtowers, and whatnot, but I don't want to waste all of the resources to begin with, because you need to focus on the economy until you can actually defend yourself. Let's go ahead and do our resource management. 
All right, so that's all storage, but production, we've got lumber mills. Lumber mills, we are still growing our population, and we really want to get out this stone mine ASAP, but we're going to need more houses because that number is going to just go through the roof ASAP. Overpopulation is desirable. Um, whoops, there we are. Food, the berry picker's house. Ultimately, we will get more of those, but we need to wait for our population to grow because we've currently got no workers available. All right, so I think we actually did a fairly decent job on the first day, so um, I think all of my obligations are completed. I still don't have people. People don't have babies in this world. They're delivered by via stork, you know what I mean? We're going to go ahead and set an attack move on our catapult there, and now we do have more population. With the rising of the sun and the crowing of the rooster, uh, we, are, we, are, we are happy again. I'm going to go ahead and send that thing out. Hopefully this thing will just not get pooped on by these people, but I figure I might as well send out a catapult to fight these peasants. Yes, I know we're, we're playing as the 1%. We're bad, bad capitalists, but that's all right. We're comfortable with that. Um, uh, it's done more good than bad, I guess, for the world. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of the current arguism, ar arguism for capitalists. <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, we aren't afraid to ask those big questions on this channel. There we are. Hmm. Good, my swordsmen are fighting that off. And good, good, good. Our catapult is well out of range of this thing. Excellent job, catapult. Oh, how you pulp the cata. Good job, good job. So I am starting to find a use for this catapult. I was worried that I wouldn't have uh, use for it. Yeah, capital is good uh, most some, some of the time. Uh, there we are. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Wooden wall. Wooden tower. Uh, what are, are we low on anything? No, we just need more stone. Let's keep on getting up our resource production because we store it up. There we are. Good. All right, now I am actually finding use for this catapult. Now, I don't want anyone to die because if they do die, it really becomes a handful. So we try to be very careful with that and let no one die. No one is allowed to die. Max builders don't stop working even when the builder's house is being upgraded. Okay, so we're going to turn this game into Clash of Clans. It's been a long time. Haven't you? Do you remember Clash of Clans? What a wonderful and awful game at the same time. Um, berry Picker's House. Takes four seconds to harvest one food, after which he carries food to a granary or town hall. Alright, so me thinks that this is not enough for one berry picker. Let's go ahead and get more berry picking going on. Food consumption, 28 per day. We're going to run lower. We want to make sure that we have a surplus, and we want to make sure that we keep growing our population. Though I do like that kind of intervallic population growth, because... I mean, how much could really be done at once? I found that I was getting not enough population here when I was playing. All right, we'll also send out our catapult over here to just cat us some more pults. Mm. Ah, excellent. This boy can... Oh, be very inaccurate. Okay, so the catapult is really good only for assaulting fixed structures. We'll keep that in mind. Um, here they come, they're angry. And we're going to actually make this into one control group. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. Now, I do believe that they regen themselves because they can always... Here we go. Let's put that on so that we can see where our troops are. Now we have a better idea. I've just done the alt hold down thing. Uh, where I can see all of the health bars. I know it's a little bit distracting, but this is a game in which I need to use my mind to overcome. Um, we will probably get killed here, though. So I am going to go ahead and build a barracks. Let's just pause... For a second before the sun rises back up. I'll leave my houses in a line to just kind of keep things in order like that. And I'll put this right next to our main base because I can't think of much else to put there. Alright, that's good. Now I, I am full of fear. The enemy attack will attack on day seven. So we have we're on day two right now. Actually we might be a little bit better off than I thought. Yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, all these people choose to live on the same house. They keep it simple. Ooh, very nice animation there. I like that. Um, we have more than enough builders. We have more than enough houses. So let's go ahead and build... I don't know. Do we have enough research? No, now I'm getting a bit carried away. Well, what we really want to get is Town Hall Level 2. And for that, we're going to need a lot more stone and a lot more wood each day. So let's keep on trying to build up those oh, parts of our economy. No, go away, catapult. Save thyself. There we go. Good. Safety. Safety for the catapult. All right, good. No one has died yet. No one will ever die. No one ever dies. Like this bit. Our troops are under attack. Yeah, okay, whoops. 
Uh, I, I do get... I explode with fear whenever I hear that message. Let's go ahead and do more stone mines. So we're clearly going to need to defend this area. If we build stone mines here, and can we build one here? Maybe not quite yet, but we'll build one like here, because that's nice and tucked into the rest of our base. Not enough. Okay, so we need more wood. It's, it's like a delicate balancing act. So where else could we get more wood? I think if we build one out here, way the hell out here, maybe even further out, but let's just be a little bit ambitious with this. Oh, yeah. Build that out there. And now we're kind of getting to these tenuous strings of like, what land is actually ours? We need to be careful with this, otherwise we'll die. 39 per day in food, but we seem to be getting a lot. Currently 82 food next day, 39 to consume. Wish it had a little bit of a better view on how much you're producing each day. That's, uh, I think, my one thing is it's just a little right. bit unclear. That would be nice. Um, if we head out here, do we have more enemies there? I'm just worried that they'll start attacking the lumber mill. Because although that you might not necessarily turn into zombies immediately, like, it is an ever-present danger in this game. Um, just that, you know, everything could kind of oh, domino out of control. Attack. Good, we're going over yonder. We're going over yonder. Now let's test out whether there's friendly fire. Okay, no friendly fire that I see anyway. Um, good. More of this, more of that. Alright, now we can start to focus on our stone game. We also don't uh, have enough workers. That we're down to only one worker. So let's go ahead and build in more houses. More houses. It's just kind of like a, a balancing act all the time. Nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, hmm. Yes, units do heal automatically. Ah, thank you for the confirmation on that. Yes, that is good to know. Alright, it seems to me as though that we have more berries than we can really decide what to do with. So, berries and cream, berries and cream. There we are, good. Alright, this was actually not awful to start. I take back what I said, but it will get bad. It will get bad, don't get me wrong. Um, I think that we could expand out a little bit further here. More population growth. Okay, we could start getting a little bit more ambitious with our walls. I think we want to build some watchtowers first, just so we have more information on what's around us. So let's go into that tree. 15 cost. Mm. Though maybe I am being a stupid if I do that. 52 per day. It does seem as though our food reserves are going down, so let's just go ahead and get more of those fishermen huts. Two more fishermen huts. Everything in moderation, you know. Put out one of those. A berry, a berry dispensary. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not what it is. Put out another one over there. Okay, that's more than enough. More than enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think you can best me? There we are. Go down there. Um... Hmm. So it does seem as though the area around, well around our base, does have more of a natural formation from which to pick than I really gave it credit for. Good. Our catapult's doing good work. So let's go ahead and build walls, like, out here. This looks like one good spot. Unless if there's a mountain over there. We're just trying to see what's the most land we can claim. It's like risk, you know? You claim a lot of land and then you turtle. And if you don't do that, then you get pooped on. So you need to be very careful there. If we can get Town Hall to two first. Alright, now we are starting to appreciably get more wood and stone. I think we'll get Town Hall to level two, and then we'll build out our walls. And then what I'm planning on doing ultimately after oh, that is getting workshops combat. and getting catapults on the walls. So that they can kind of build a network of, se of uh, mutual support. Now the other thing we're doing is collecting these orbs, which are uh, going to give us power-ups. We can get Astral Rays, Mass Healing, Meteor, all kinds of other powers that will just generally poop on our enemies. Is there friendly... F haven't seen friendly fire yet, so I don't think so. I, I have seen pretty bad inaccurate fire, though, like... What I thought was guys attacking their own structure, but I, I, I am not sure about that, so I will not say it. Um, hmm... Obelisk. Okay, so yes, the obelisk will allow us to start unlocking higher spells. So for right now, it's just summoning. We don't really need much more than summoning, though the astral ray is quite cool to watch. Hopefully we'll get that at some point. We're on day four, though, so the next the next wave is coming in only three days. We don't have a lot of time left 
But we've so far done really good work with this catapult, I think. Um, hmm. All right, I'm just going to run everyone around. Eh, no, don't even go over there. Let's just go over here. Go this way, my people. Now, I don't know if they'll come after us because we aggroed them, but... TBD. Now, we have enough wood. Okay, so now, clearly, we're doing enough of that. Let's go ahead and just get more stone. 13 per day. Let's keep growing. People keep wanting to move in here. God knows why. I don't know why you would move to a place that was under siege. Stone mine. Yes, stone mine's good. Mm, there? Can we build there? No, not quite yet. Okay, I mean, this area is going to be pretty well defended. Right? Ah, oh, we need more workers. Okay, so it won't even let me queue things until we get there. Ah, not good. Where are my people? There we go. Put them over there. You go back over here. And I might just... You know what? Let's just do this for the sake of doing it. Let's do a summon. Not really needed right here, but... I wanted to show off my powers, you know? And it also helps keep my catapult alive, so that is important. No, stop going after the catapult. No, you don't want to go after that at all. There we are. Okay, so now we can just vicariously march these guys into danger. The catapult seems very good for attacking. Or... Attacking stationary troops, but anybody who's on the move is just bad. Alright, who are these people? What are you- Oh, they are like the stonemasons. We have masons in our- in our control. Um, I will go over there because they are bothering me from over there. Good. Go in, go in, my people, go in. Hmm. immigration decisions. <laughs> well, we do need a, a much larger military, though. Now let's start to think of the wave defense. So we don't actually know which what which uh, side it will come in from. So before I secure all the borders, I'm going to go ahead and just build up my whole military. Um, I'm thinking we'll just do nothing but archers. We don't have enough population, so we'll prepare for more population tomorrow because we've done a very good job at getting a lot of houses, but we haven't really done a very good job at defending ourselves. Um... Unfortunately. Hmm. Do this, and this, and this. Good. So that's a lot of houses. A hey. lot of homes. Hmm? We need All that. Oh man, my people are very fast. Hey. Now you guys go over there. Let only the hired help. Let only the help do this. Hey. You see, these guys seem strong. They're larger. So they are objectively stronger. Our troops good. Are under attack. Use the catapult. Good, good, good. Ah, that's actually a major advantage of the catapult, is that if everyone stays stationary, then the catapult has an opportunity to fire at them. So kind of like a substitute for archers, because enemies will always be coming at archers, bro. There we are. Good. Stay and defend the catapult. Good, but they will evaporate in just a matter of seconds. But we might be up to the uh, thing before we get there. Oh no, so they're starting to disappear. Oh no, alas! Alright, I can probably just march these guys into their own death. Uh, no. In fact, let's let's go back. It's fine. Alright, we don't have that much more time before the last raid, so let's go ahead and just start building a lot of archers. We have zero population, but we are building enough for houses. We have 23 per day. That seems pretty good to me, so let's focus on food. We'll have enough to upgrade and just get a big army. Okay, I know how I'm going to act. Oh, but I need more population for that. For everything, we need more population. Oh, alas. Uh, for, um, yeah, maybe four to five catapults as a concentrated barrage would be good. Ultimately, I think catapults and mass has, uh, has some validity to that strategy. But before we get there, we're going to need to just have a, a very small defensive group of archers. Hammer guy. Man, so many wonderful units to choose from in the end. So many wonderful units to choose from. Mm hmm. Other things that we could do. 106. Will we need more? Eh, well, we'll probably be best off with the town hall upgrade first. I'm confident that we'll be fine for the... I know we might get a little bit our butts kicked at the beginning. But it's kind of... It's kind of necessary. Okay, so now we have 25 population. Great, that was a fantastic night. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just 
get more food because we are not we're go currently going to run out of food and that is not too particularly good let's just get berry pickers more berry pickers I think we can do another one there and then we'll just have to meet the enemy head on for the first wave that's okay because you know we don't need to have our perfect defense set up just yet later on we'll worry about that but for right now that's good enough more berry pickers man can you imagine Sustaining this larger population off of just picking berries. No, don't go over there. Oh, that's a catapult. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, now you guys go over there. And then, now that we've got that food situation hopefully covered, we'll just spam archers. Because we're going to need this if we want to accomplish the first of my goals. And huzzah, we know where the enemy is coming from as well. So I'm thinking that they'll probably come from the top of this cliff. But let's go find out if that's actually going to happen. And then we can kind of build our defense up along that wall. Ooh. Build watchtowers to get rid of the fog of war and don't have to guess where the hordes are coming from. I know. I've been trying to save it for the town hall upgrade, though. I want to get one town hall upgrade first, and then we'll go to watchtowers. 79 per... Yeah, we're going to need a lot more food. I don't know if my people... I guess my people will die if they just starve. Hmm. Fisherman's Hut. Okay, we'll put another one of those down there. Because those seem to procure a good amount of food. Hey. Who is employed as a... Hey. That is the most happy sound for a huh? berry picker's hut. I wouldn't be happy if I worked as a berry picker. Huh? Come on, I, I would want to use tools. Hey. Actually, I would probably be pretty happy. I'm not going to lie. I, I would probably be a pretty happy berry picker. Got all the berries, boss. It was a good day today. All troops are under attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we got a lot of berries today, boss. Um, hmm. And you do need to be careful with how things move. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can't just kind of move around and kite them. Oh, no, one of you has died. Oh, alas, alas, alas. All right, be very, very careful. Be very cautious. Keep it secret, keep it safe, and all of that. Because they will start to attack us kind of from the periphery here. Good. You found somebody to just poop on. Um, big boy. Oh, no. Don't get away from the big boy. Get away from big boy. Now go after him. Good. We got the big boy. All right. Um, regrettably, yeah, we are just pretty much going to have to meet this first wave head on. But we have archers. We have a catapult. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do I have enough to upgrade? Yes, I have enough to upgrade. Yes. Yes. All right, we have enough food for a day. Good. So now we have a large army. We're going to have to meet this first wave head on, regrettably. But then after that, we'll start to build up defenses. Um, I don't think I'm going to put anything toward arches, because I think after this, I'm just going to put everything toward, like, stationary defenses. Oh, no. Ah, berry picking is, in fact, safe and fun work to do. Thank you for uh, letting us... I think it's all know of this. Oh god, uh, I didn't expect that kind of attack right there. Um, no, that's bad. Come on, there's another attack. The more important attack is coming in only 14 seconds. No, only w No, that sad berry picker. Oh, alas, no. Our people are under attack. Okay, uh, I don't have time to think about this. So I'm just going to spawn in these people. And then I'm going to send my own men up to the north. I should have done that from the start. Enemy forces are approaching. Okay, now the wave is incoming. No, I should have just done it before. Wait a minute, how did they kill the big boys? Oh, they are still being spawned in. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Massed military combat. There's nothing more thrilling. Our units are in combat. Safe as working in the Hive City in 40k. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. There, there is no real uh, union of workers in 40k. Um, mm, why are we just losing everything over there? All troops are under attack. Oh, because they have a catapult. Why how come you come back to life when you are shot with a catapult? I too feel invigorated when I'm shot with a catapult, but 
I mean, this is a little bit ridiculous, don't you think? I'm going to use up the rest of my powers because I didn't expect there to be a catapult right there. Our troops are under attack. Oh no, alas, I should not have expanded out over there. Oh god, okay, just, you know what, move back. Too many big people over there. Ah, huzzah, we have done this. Alright, uh, help out our people, help out our people, I regret most of that. Alright, wave coming, wave coming, and then we can focus on the defense. Uh, and we also need to get more berries because we just lost a few of those things. Uh, we do have a farm. Maximum number of workers to farm. It takes 18 seconds for each worker to- Okay, this is clearly a much better building, so let's go ahead and build a farm. That way we don't have to rely on berries forever. That would is still kind of a weird food source. But see, now this is just becoming much more efficient and better. Are these Dark Knights going to stay around for a very long time? I'm just going to march them, uh, into danger. Intrepidly. Hey, Laggy Camper, thanks for coming out. Okay, here comes the wave. A concentrated barrage of men. Armed with sickles and pitchforks. Those are rather large sickles. All troops are under attack. Wave one, we have... I, I believe we will surmount this wave. Ah, uh, yes, the Beeg boys have done such a good job. Good, okay, that wave was fine. We just pooped on that. Um, so what do we need to do now? So let's stake our claim on whatever area we want, and then we'll just build a lot of stuff to kind of defend that. And then we can focus on turtling and expanding our co economy. You know, I'm really, like, just a massive Sigma male whenever I play these games. We have five corpses to bury. We probably aren't even in range of those. Oh, no, they're over there. Uh, and the granary is full, so we will need more granaries. Okay, let's go do some of that. Storage, granary... I'll put it near the farm. Where, wait, where is the farm being built? Didn't I just order a farm be built? Oh no, you bad people. Why didn't you build that? Put that there then. Our troops are under attack. Oh, maybe they farm... Okay, they farm the land around it. Oh, like we need to place this around the farm. Okay, now I understand the farm. I understand the farm. Of course I do. Okay, uh, yeah, if we can get to- Ooh! This is bad. This is kinda bad, though. Get out of there, men. Get out of there. Good, hit the big boy. I don't even have enough for a summon anymore. Mm hmm okay, okay. March intrepid into that- Good, good, into that fight, good. All right, good. We are fending them off. Uh, unfortunately, catapults into a horrible position, but whatever. It'll live. It'll live. This will be the last group uh, after which I go. All right, good. We'll take out this one group, and then I think I'm going to build one wall straight across right here, and that will be the extent of my expansion. Uh, what is that over there? That is some type of windmill. Good, good, get those. See, it's like they are billions, though, in that, like, whenever you kick the hornet's nest, you're really screwed. You're really screwed. Uh, no, we're going back, we're leaving, we're leaving you alone, we're leaving you alone. Leave us alone, please. Get that big boy. Everyone run away, everyone run away, everyone run away. He is slow and bad. He is slow and bad. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now we can focus on, hopefully, uh, granaries, or granaries, however you say it. There we are, granary. Put that over there so that they don't have to walk very far. And I'll put it in the middle of the berries. Or like there, that's good. Our units are in combat. Okay, time to build, time to build a wall. We don't know where the enemy will come from next. So, I live in fear until that day. The city um, is under attack. Oh no, the city isn't under attack? Please don't tell me that. Damn it, man. Okay, so yeah, now they are starting to bother us generally. No, please! Oh, why? No, that fisherman did nothing to you! Ugh, asshole. 
Alright, this does seem to be the area that is the greatest thorn in my side, though. So let's go ahead and just... Oh, we have towers. Ah, uh, stone towers and things like that. So do we have enough stone? We've done a pretty good job building up stone, so we might as well just build a stone tower, I guess, right? We might as well just skip past the wood. How much did the wood cost, anyway? 28? 28 and 16? So that's fine. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll probably use this. Probably. Um, and I'll put towers on, like, corners or places where I think I'll need them. So I'll do that. I might just do wood segments between... No, I will put it further out. Let's do that. And we want towers to be able to support one another, so let's do something simple like that. Good. All right. And we will encounter more big boys. Uh, I am scared. I am scared. No, we were just planning those walls. We weren't even going to make walls there. Absolutely not. We would never make walls there to try to keep you out of our uh, money bath that we have over here. Again, we are playing as the 1%. Don't forget. That's what it's all for. That's what it's all. That's what we're fighting for. That's what we're fighting for. So ultimately, what I don't like about uh, these types of games is you end up having to spread your defenses really thin. So that is a disadvantage here. We're going to—we don't even know where the next enemy wave will come from. It probably won't even be coming from the same direction. But this area is just kind of turning into a pain in the butt to defend against. So as soon as our builders get over here, my God, it's going to take them a long time to get over. Actually. I take back what I said. This isn't even in range of that. Oh, no, and we'll, we'll get only partial refund on our resources. Okay, 86 all of that. Uh, let's just leave those blueprints up there, though, because ultimately I might want to put them down. Um, we are a little bit screwed here, though. So this is the range of our town also. Let's just be a little bit less ambitious with our wall and build it, like, here instead. One, I think, two of those. Hmm, I should have been a little bit more careful with that. All right, well, whatever. Hmm, why can we not build there? Oh, we might not have enough resources. All right, well, big sad, big sad. Build Builder's Hut to get more range for building. Ah, okay, we could do that too. Well, either way, I might as well have just a double wall. Oh, that gives me range as well. Okay, I, I missed that. Mm, builder's house, we need 20 wood for that. My god, these walls are expensive to create, though, too. Well, let's see if they get anything done. Otherwise, that was all just wasted resources. The world is changing. Who now has the strength to stand against the armies of Isengard <laughs> and Mordor? Oh, god. To stand against the might of Sauron and Saruman, and the union of the two towers? Together, my lord Sauron, mm. we shall rule this Middle Earth. It the does kind of have that vibe about it, doesn't it? Uh, Triple G, thank you for the much-needed Lord of the Rings reference. I always feel that whenever I'm under siege from something. Uh, you know what I could do, maybe, is no walls for a minute. Let's just build towers where we would want them. That way we won't use up all of the monies, and we will have all of the- Yes, good! There we are, a tower! I needed that. Good. Good. Where did I put all of my people? Okay, there we are. Um, now we can go ahead and garrison these. I'll put a catapult in one. I'll put some archers in the other one. Nice. Alright, and then eventually we'll just kind of build in walls between those two things. Worry about it later. Worry about it later. As long as we just have a group of people everywhere, more or less. Alright, so we have 16 people around. Um, we gotta- we haven't looked at our economy in a while. But, you know, we've been doing good work with what we've got. We'll rebuild one of those fishermen huts. Yes, good. Rebuild that. Uh, and try to keep everything within the walls. Watchtowers, yes. That's Yes, actually, this is probably better. Yes, watchtowers. Let's do that first. That way we can see. Because you need information in order to see. In order to really see. You know what I mean? Good. 11... 15. Ooh. Alright, so good. Now we've got, like, a full garrison in there. We've got a catapult over there. We've got a random, just, wall that doesn't know what it's doing over there. 
Uh, we've got a watchtower coming up over there, and I will also position this guy over there so that he can stand in that when it's ultimately ready. Uh, we'll build another one over here so that we can see what's going on. See what's going on is always good. And then I think that we'll ultimately put one guy there. And then we'll probably do it one more on this side of the whole thing. And that side, I'm not even going to need a watchtower because I already did all of that. Um, and then we can have our main force, which will just kind of rotate around among the different spots. Okay, I'm feeling like I have more of an idea of what's going on around me now. This was important. This was essential. Alright, I'll put it over there so that we get a decent radius. And then one boy will stand there. Watchtowers don't actually have to be- Oh, that is good to know that watchtowers don't have to be met. But at the same time, I would like to be able to address threats that should come in from that direction. So we will do that. We will do that. Oh, yeah. oh that's true, though. They can't see. Does it increase the range when I met them? No, it doesn't actually increase the range. In fact, alas, alas. Well, regardless. Regardless, it's fine. Okay, 14 people. We're at our max, though. Are we making enough food? Can we sustain more people? Let's go ahead and get more berry pickers houses because we do have more berries around and we might as well capitalize on the amount of berries because clearly we aren't picking enough berries and they're replenishing themselves faster than we're using them. Uh, I'll take more. I'll take more. It's kind of randomly scattered about. Okay, they have depleted these ones, but they will replenish. They will replenish. Don't you worry now. Um, good. See, we have a random errant zombie because somebody came back to life, decided to come back to life. But we can just put that guy in there. Oh, he's actually going to anger those ones. All right, so that's not good. But we have more information as to what's going on around us, and that's good news anyway. Um, it does seem to increase their range when I do that. That's good. So how strong are these watchtowers? Okay, they just walk up to the watchtowers and they're kind of confused. No, they are coming after the watchtower, alas. I'm not afraid of what's coming from the south, though, anymore. We're at day 10, we have only three more days to prepare, and I really do find us grotesquely underprepared. A house two, of course a house two. Stoner and stronger. A stoner house, get it? Because it's stone. Ah, uh, wonderful. All right, what is, this, uh, what is this fountain thing? Build town hall two, plus two, ouch. Oh, because you can increase the radius. Of course you can increase the radius of that. Well, we won't fool with that just yet. Our fortifications are under attack. I don't think that storage space is really our issue yet. It's more just a matter of flow. Let's go ahead and build another uh, wood cutting house and more food things. Ooh, we'll do one there. Stone cutting house. Uh, what is it? No, I said wood. I said wood. Lumber mill two. Maximum number of workers three. Takes ten seconds. Oh, yes, Lumber Mill 2. More advanced than Lumber Mill 1, even. Who would have expected Lumber Mill 2 after Lumber Mill 1? I'll put that right in the middle of the woods, because that looks like a good thicket. Um, all right, now I think we can build more archers. That's good. We'll have the food. We'll have more of the stuff that we need. Uh, and more than enough stone. The future is here, Lumber Mill 2. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I know I haven't I know I haven't done hexagons, but hear me out, hear me out. It it'll survive, it'll survive. Hey. Now we have the information as to what's around us after all, and information is more important than reality. Hey. Yes, yes it is. Huh? Alright, I think we have enough stone though too that we could start to build a couple more towers. Nope, uh we can't. I lied. Hey. It's nice to see though that, you know, stone tower is still only twenty eight wood, so it's it only makes sense to upgrade it. You do kind of have a steep cost though when you go to Iron Our Tower. Are under attack. Oh, they are? Oh, alas! Zunes! No, I don't like that. We'll put you here. This is really isn't a good place for anything, but yet we're a little bit screwed. Oh, we can't even- oh no, we just have to wait before we build in the woods. Okay, I need to evacuate some of you. And in fact, alas, uh, I should have built these closer together. Oh, we'll just have to kind of wait. And I mean, look at how long it's taking them to come after the stone walls. And they're like, we hate stone. Down with stone. So, well, yeah, we'll be fine there. 
This is good. Eventually we can comprehensively get a whole wall around us, but I think that it's less important than just getting something up to start. 90 out of 114. Good. Look at all the population we're getting in. Hey, Ace Torino. Thank you very much for the kind words. Hmm. Yeah, they're mining out our stone wall. Yeah, we are a little bit screwed there. You know what? I'm thinking we're not ready for a catapult in here yet. Let's just go ahead and say catapult leave. Catapult gone. There we are. We'll just have to slowly deliver it as a payload to whatever we, uh, to wherever the enemies are coming from because it's going to be two more days and then they will attack us. All right. Again, we're low on food. And I think we need one more tower in order for me to feel safe. So let's go ahead and build one of those uh, just in the middle of the woods. Can't really support anything, but we could have it there as a thing. Um, hmm. Food. Food is important, otherwise everyone will die. How are we doing on these farms, anyway? Five people on the farm. Farm one. I guess we could build farm two. What an original idea. Fisherman's hut. We might as well just use the rest of these fish that we haven't really come after these fish. No one's coming after the fish for anything. Except me. Except for me. Okay, more berry pickers huts. It looks like that these are starting to replenish. Look, the little red orbs are growing back on them. So I think we can just do more of that. Yes, more of that. Good. All right, excellent, excellent. But plenty of workers, plenty of people to fuel the economic machine. Um, hmm, I think I'll go there. And then we'll just build more oh, yeah. of these people, or we'll put these people into those towers. Good, we're actually defended now, and then we can bring over the, t uh, the teleporter, I mean the catapult, wherever we need it. Build more archers, because I think archers are going to be extremely important here. What is this? No builders nearby. Uh, build a new builder's hut or increase for... Okay, for that. Yep, we made that mistake before. We aren't going to make it again. And the granary is full. Okay, so we need more of that. Just so that we can store more of the food. Granary 2. Um, yeah, we can afford it, so let's do it. Might as well. Might as well, right? I mean, we have our archers. I think this will be enough archers for the next wave. Maybe we'll need more. I don't know. We could be screwed. But I think that they are so safe in those stone towers. I know, famous last words. I'm probably going to get killed. But at the same time, they are so safe in those towers, guys. Look. Look at these hardworking men. Look at these hardworking men. It'll be fine. It'll be interesting if we have more zombies in the waves. I, I kind of like, though, that they have something that's non-zombie, though, for the the waves. We'll speed up the game. I think now we have time. We have room for more population. Good. House two. Come on, house two. There we go. Good house two. Oh, we need more food. Wait a minute, but we're getting so much food. Oh, because they're storing away new food. Good, good, good. Ooh, they're coming. They're a coming. I think we're going to need one more stone, one or two more of those stone towers. Um, hmm, massive tower. Mm, massive tower, what, <laughs> look, it's so thick. Uh, Town Hall 2, can hold up to 25 shooters or four war machines or one tree. We'll just go with normal ones because we aren't really to spread out that, that much yet. Eventually, we'll get these things supporting each other. And I think we need one more because if they were to actually come... Now, we're actually realistically greeting threats, though. Because if they were to come in from one of these sides, I think we would be somewhat prepared. We need one over here, though. And I think maybe one more over there, but we can't actually afford it. So, it's fine. And look, we're at, we have more than enough food now. Our economy is doing better. Oh, don't you like to see that? We'll need more lumber, too. Because I just find myself running out of wood all the time. There we are. I bring up the Grand. The Grand. <laughs> I forgot about the Grand. Uh, from Lord of the Rings. I don't know why I feel so, like, upset when I play these games. I just, I put so much pressure on myself because I feel like if I don't succeed, everyone will be mad at me. You know what I mean? 
Uh, like I like I'll be exposed for the imposter that I am as being bad at strategy games. Oh no. Enemy forces are approaching. Oh, that was the actually that's a decent direction for them to approach from. They'll probably come right on this tower though. We just have to take that thing out. The arches will take them out, and now we have control over the area around our base. All right, I don't think that we're going to need watchtowers again for a while. Grand, grand. I'm going to send you over here, though, to just attack these camps, because I don't want these guys compounding this fight and making it worse. My workers need to work all the way around the houses every time because there is no gap in them. Yes, that's fair. We might have to destroy one of these houses. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Mm, we'll destroy one of these bad wooden houses. Something in the middle. Okay. No one lives there anymore. 138 out of 132. Oh, look, our population is just homeless now. Tavern, maximum number of workers, 2 minus 15%. Coon okay, so we could probably optimize that a little bit more. But yeah, a game that you could seriously try hard, and I'm kind of enjoying that. Hmm, why are we going after this guy? No, no one goes after the, my catapult boy. There we go. Good. We've assaulted the enemy. Uh, you stand actually over there. It'll be better for you. Good. Okay, now we've gotten those archers on it. Mm. Oh, I could upgrade the level 1 houses too. I should do that. I should have done that. I should have seen that. Mm. Simple obelisk. Then we could unlock that thing. But we really haven't been expanding at all. So we're going to be relying mostly on our own uh, stuff to do this. All right, since they're going to be coming from over here, I'm just going to see if I can build a wall over there. We will start to build up some... Uh, should we do that? So it's, uh, it's in the middle of the woods, so I don't like that. We'll need to build another one on the other side. But we have so much stone, too, so we'll probably be fine. Famous last oh, yeah. words, famous last words. Let's put some more people in there. Okay, this feels safe-ish. Put a catapult in there. And, oh, the wave is already here. The wave is literally here right now. Well, uh, that didn't go well. Yeah, we do still have people in the, in the tower, though. Yeah, they're fine, they're fine. No, please stay away from all of us. Please stay away from all of us. Uh, mm, Okay, you just poop on them. No, get away from my builders, get away from my builders. Oh, no, 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 don't kill my men, don't kill my men. You run around and just confuse them. Crap, 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 crap. I wasn't ready for this, I wasn't ready for this. I thought we had, like, a few more minutes for some reason. Nope, 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 just run, everyone run away while the catapult does a lot of the work. No, that was a very inaccurate catapult shot. No, don't GG me yet. Don't GG me yet. Oh, no, they're pooping on our houses. Look at how many of them there are. I didn't expect quite this many yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, they'll destroy that. They'll destroy that. Don't go quite that far. Go over here. Archers out. All archers out of everywhere. Go over there, go over there. Okay, now we need to do some quick triage. Uh, this goes over to there. And everyone else can just stay at home and the die. Is under attack. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, you guys get out of there. Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to take some losses here. But at least it'll be right by our graveyard. And look, that was the last of them. There's no more. There's no more. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, I can't even summon, that's not good. Alright, so I just mismanaged that. But, eh, we'll live. Again, we had spread our defenses so thin, you know what I mean? Our house is cheaper to build than walls, so do we just put houses there? I think that they don't stand as long as walls do, though. So we did lose a little bit, but, uh, you know, now we're defended from two sides, so I kind of consider that a win. 120 out of 102. All of those people are going to come back to life as well, so I'm just going to leave a lot of the military there. Um, let's put fewer archers in towers, because I think we had the strength to do that battle. We just did it wrong, because we had people in the wrong buildings. 
Like, we'll make it, don't get me wrong, but we just need to put fewer out, uh, archers in each tower. And then have a mobile force that goes around. I wanna be shit poster supreme, the best there ever was. To post poop is simply the best, to fling them as my cause. Oh, all right, Ash Ketchum. Hey, thank you very much for the 300 bits, Triple G. Much appreciated, my friend. Okay, I wish you luck on your quest of, uh, of, uh, finding the Charizard cards. Hmm. Hmm. I think expansion might be kind of overrated, you know, to be honest with you. That could have gone worse, too. That could have gone worse. So let's go ahead and just build more houses. We can also make up for some of our mistakes with the houses as well. If we build them into, like, better blocks like this. So we leave gaps now. Okay, so you know what? It was actually a good thing that we lost all of those people and that they all died. Um, we can do, you know, blocks of four, and then that's fine. Yes, the, all part of my elaborate plan. All part of my elaborate plan. Yeah, I guess in a lot of ways it's uh, uh, similar to they are billions and low poly. But I'm trying. Yeah, I, I think that is still valid though. Like, what? How is it different? I think there's a good number of uh, different types of units, different kind of setting. So that would be one way. That would be one way. I never like to just say that one is exactly like another, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I want to give it a chance. After I've played it for maybe 20, 30 hours, uh, then I'll have a more nuanced opinion. And a lot of these things are still in early access, too. Like, for example, in Going Medieval, fine game. I, I think it's still kind of early in early access. So there is that. Um, hmm. Are we good? Our food situation is looking good now, though. We just need the population, we need the farms to support it, and then we can kind of go from there. So we'll leave our military small for a bit. Small. So I think we'll build more of these groups of huts. Evil huts in here. I wish you could queue things, though, before you have the resources. That, that might be a nice thing if they added that to the game. It's because I find it's, it's nicer if I could blueprint and plan, and I'm kind of going just ad hoc here. Someone stole my Charizard when they first came out. I'm so sorry about your Charizard. I did it. Ha 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 ha. So yeah, robust defenses, but only a few people in each place. That seems... legit. Let's do this. Okay, we have a good view of the map around us, though. And now we can... Mm? Our troops are under attack. No, 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 no. Why are they so strong? Everyone out, everyone out, everyone out. Good. Good. Okay. Houses going up. Houses going up. Population growing. If we do that, we're gonna need more food. Let's do- Ah, another farm! Good. Okay, we have a nice open swath of land right here, and this is kind of near the, uh, granary. Hmm, if we do this here, then we could get another thing there, and there, and there, and there. Can they still- yes, good, they can even still walk through that. Nice, nice. More food, more food coming out to our storage. I think that that's pretty efficient, the way that that's laid out. Hmm. Alright, now this is getting much more satisfying to gaze upon. Look at my kingdom, look at my people, look how well defended they are in their walls. Nice. Hmm. I think we could continue waging our campaigns. Uh, one thing I would really like would be if you had troop veterancy. Oh no! Death is upon us! Um, uh, hang on a second. I think we can build a hospital or something like that for this. Gravedigger's house, gravedigger's house, builder's house. We're, we're ready for people to die, but we aren't ready to help them live. Let's go ahead and build this here. Good, so we have plenty of room around there. So now people can go to the hospital if they're sick, so hopefully they won't die, because that is causing more zombies to rise up and kill us all. We're, I mean, the goal is to kind of become like a, you know, an orange. A very powerful shell with a sticky, gooey interior. Much like they are billions, you know what I mean? Hey, Bernadette, thank you very much for the kind words. Hope you're doing well, too. Your only solution is to de- well, that's a little morbid, don't you think? Hmm. Now, the one disadvantage of this, among other- oh, whoops, we need to rebuild our wood industry, which we lost there. Um, I did have to cut a forest in two. So I'm not too happy with that. I hate chopping down the forest. Um, you know how much I love the forest. But, uh, unfortunately we had to do that. Hmm, where are we going here, gentlemen? 
Oops, uh, I'll get my command group of one. Hmm. Where does that catapult? Where is that damn thing? I don't know. Alright, alas, alas, alas. The archers will continue on their oh, campaign of waging that? war. Alright, but the good news is that now we've got tons and tons of stone. It's really outnumbering our, uh, our wood. We'll get tons of population in a day, and that's good. It's just, it's snowballs, you know what I mean? It's, it's like there's never a break. Never a mental rest. It's just constant trudging up until you get everything to work. Mm. The day, the day-to-day -day kind of friction, though. Ah, ah, there is the catapult. Okay, I lost you for a second there. See, now this is what we're going to start to get. We're going to start to get smaller groups of enemies just kind of like hitting the wall. Annoying, yes, but mm -mm. okay. Get away, get away, my catapult. Good, you're faster than those bad peasants. Okay, destroy that. Does that give it a move order? Or? Oh, that's kind of odd. Attack that point, yes. No, 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 don't destroy my catapult. You know how much I love my catapult. Good, good. Attack that. Oh no, 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 no. Come back, men. Come back. Man, I, I, I'm concentrating so much, I can hardly stand it. Greg McD, 94. Thank you very much for the 10 months, my friend. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. No! One has fallen. One has fallen. There's a limit to kiting. Okay, good. Now we have destroyed the spawner. We have destroyed the womb from whence they arise. Alright, everyone back inside. Everyone back inside. Man, look at all of my people just wandering around, <laughs> muddling about like that. Well, at least patient goes to the hospital. Are they... Yeah, okay, good. I think they're taking decent enough care of themselves. They're taking decent enough care of themselves. Now, well, let's set this to be one control group, though. Because we can't, we have to leave everybody else in the towers, but... That's important. Day 16, we'll get the next one on day 20. Now we have a good amount of population ready, so let's think about what to do next in terms of food. I guess we could have another farm down here. It's not really even that much wood down here. One, two, three, four, and five, and that's one. And then we go ahead and do... Yeah, we are kind of running short on space on this granary. Hmm. Yeah, I know, this game is rough. I'm, I'm actually... You know, like, you think that low-poly games will be easy because they're low-poly, like they're for children or something like that? No, I don't think it could be any different. Like, I'm in a lot of mental anguish right now. Hmm. Cemetery Gravedigger's house. I think we'll just rely on our defenses to kill the dead people again. Uh, Builder's Hut. We could go out there so that it, well, it wasn't a total waste of time. Yeah, and it'd be nice to have, like, two lines of defense, but maybe we'll save that for a little bit longer. Um, I'm really, I'm honestly just thinking that we need more lumber mills. Because if we get more wood, then we'll actually be able to do more stuff. We kind of want to keep that near our walls, but maybe we'll expand this out. Yeah, we'll expand this wall so that it kind of goes over here. Yeah, I like that. All right. Build another uh, tower jettison. There it is. Nice. Bring that out forth. Why is everyone sick? Okay, no, they're getting better. Look, they're getting better. Oh, God. How are they all so sick? How are they so sick? Hey, hit point in. Thank you very much for the nice raid. Hang on a second. Let me just uh, go ahead and give you a quick... Uh... Hey, what were you guys playing? Thank you very much. Ah, oh, you guys were doing banner, Lord. How did the stream go? Hope it went well. Welcome in, Raiders. Wow, uh, this game is exceedingly difficult. I'm actually struggling a lot right here. We could get more archers. We could get more archers. What would that cost us? Wood? I guess we want to get more like future people, but we need such advanced resources. It's almost not clear what we should be getting because I clearly don't want spearmen. I feel like that would be kind of a waste. Hmm. Hmm. 
colony management. It's kind of like college man colony management. It's a little bit more like uh, they are billions, though. Um, like wave survival. So, like, emphasis more on the military. All right, now we are getting a good income of wood, though. And we don't want to lose that wood, so let's invest in some security so that we don't lose that wood again. That was such a, a bother. Oh my, have I turned into Winnie the Pooh? It was a real bother when we lost that. Um, mm, walls are good. Stone is had. Make more walls. There we are. And let's try to... Good. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that one. Who did the... Where did he come from? No. Alas. You are not allowed... You are not to do that. Move it. Yeah, move, move this man out. Move this man out. They are attacking our buildings. I know. I'm insulted that they're attacking our buildings. Oh, these are zombies from y yesternight. Oh, these are our own people coming out of these things. Okay, I see how this is working now. Yes, I get it. I get it. Okay. Uh, go in. Kill our own our villagers. Kill our own villagers. We had a cemetery for this. Look, Anton Sugar can work only so fast. Burying the dead. The city is under attack. What a pain in the butt. Yeah, because if you fail, then it makes your life worse. This is the thing is that this game snowballs. You aren't allowed to fail ever. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I do feel some pain in games like this, though, where it's like if you fail at all. See, because now the zombies are fighting people. And then that's going to create even more zombies. Our people are under attack. Oh no. Hmm. Australian Winnie the Pooh. Yes, Australian Winnie the Pooh. Does he sound Australian or does he sound American? No, I'm pretty sure that Pooh Bear is American. I'm sorry, he's American. Very American. I guess in that case we could have like a tower in our own base. Well, it would be fine to have one tower in each place. I keep having to change around this control group, though. 176 per day. Okay, so now we're using up just... How do we not produce enough food for ourselves, though, too? We have so much population, but yet is anyone working on this? They, okay, they are working on this farm. Uh, ooh. I was, I was thinking that we would have more food than that. Uh, and we could never get to this one, actually, as it turns out. No one could walk there with the path. Okay, so pathing does seem to be pretty important in this game. Like, if they can't move path, if a tile is occupied, they can't even skirt around it at all. Uh, whoops, I did put that tower in the place of that thing. That's not good. Um, let's go ahead and just build more of these. Because look at all of the berry people. Man, that happy, like, ragtime song plays whenever I... It just makes me laugh. All right, more farms, I say, because we're still struggling to eat. The problem is that you need so many more workers to feed a, a population that just eats and eats and eats. There we are. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We will support this completely unsupportable military, but fortunately these good walls don't require any upkeep and you never have to feed a wall. Do you? I don't believe that you do, I don't believe that you do. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, let's speed up time a little bit. Give them some... Give them an opportunity. All right, dead bodies coming back to the graveyard. Oh, no, those aren't dead bodies. That's stone. I keep thinking that that's dead people. <laughs> we've got the hospital. We've got good health care. We've got some good Obamacare happening in the uh, colony. Thank God. Thank God for that. Oh, awesome. All right, um... Okay, good. Look at this nice, brisk clip of wood that we're getting. And all of this nice, brisk clip of food that we're getting as well. Uh, corpses to bury seven of the builders nearby. Diseases spreading in the cell. We already have that. Uh, an entire school of fish is caught. Find a new fishing spot. So then these fish huts seem to be basically useless to me. Because eventually they're going to run out. And berries are the only things that are renewable. That's actually a little bit depressing. I probably won't build them in that case in the future. Let's go turn on auto repair because I didn't have it on. Um, I guess we just kind of got to destroy that to have the resources refunded. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. So it seems to be never worth it to build fisherman huts, unless if it's just to get you off of the ground to begin with. So we'll have to account for that in the future. We could get farm too. How close are we to town hall? No, not even really. All right, I'm thinking let's just make sure that we're safe. Let's build towers and stuff like that, that no enemy can touch us. There we are. So this whole side is safe. This side is safe-ish, because look at all of the towers I have there. This would be an easy win, so let's get this one up. And let's get this one up, too. There we go. Okay, I feel safe. It doesn't matter that I'm not safe, because I feel safe. And that's all. It only matters how I feel. Um, there we go. Good. All right. Then we'll build an actual military again. But what I'm doing is just a worse strategy. Didn't set proper fishing guidelines. Oh, are there fishing guidelines? Oh, wait. Are you you're kidding me? I guess one way that we could do to kind of sustain it for longer is to remove workers from it. 29. Hmm... Fish is really good early game, influxes of resources, but then it runs out. So build like one and then just give up on it because it'll never work out again. It's like oil. We have so much cheap oil in the world. You know what I mean? Man, this disease thing is kind of crazy though. These people have a whole pandemic. It was a sustained... I know. I, th I thought that I just didn't understand the fish huts. I was like, oh no, I've done the fish huts wrong. Alas, alas. We could probably move out a lot of these guys from here too. I think we need only like one in that tower. Let's max out one per tower. That way we can move them wherever they're actually needed. Okay, so now we have a big military, um, big military. Only one of you go in there. And yeah, that's fine too, that's okay. All right, and then these places are pretty like far flung. Okay. That feels better, that feels better. Let's go ahead and um, start getting out more resources from the ground. Oh, good, we actually have a surplus of resources. Wow, I never thought that we would get to this at all. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about food and food storage because we do seem to be hitting the max amount. So let's go ahead and build another granary. Uh, and hopefully near some of our farms so that they can just deliver it quickly. There we go, two of those should be Enemy fine. forces are approaching. Okay, that wasn't the direction I wanted, but whatever. We can prepare for it. Let's just pause. Let's, um... I don't want to cancel the walls I've already got built. But I think we have more than enough wood. We could do a really sketchy wood wall down here. And then just die. There we go. It'll be wood. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. They'll probably come right on this wall, so I'm not really going to bother with much of the other stuff. Yes, it's made of wood, but just ignore everything. Ignore everything and work harder. I am kind of scared. Uh, okay, all of you get in there. All of you get in there. Are they coming? R yes, they are coming right now, aren't they? Oh, crap. Crap. Uh, yeah, we'll get a wall up there eventually. We'll get a wall up there eventually. Did I say oi? Oh no, I, I know I said, oi mate, oi mate. I need more archers. Okay, this is the definition of procrastination. Hey. Here they come. Uh, ooh, ooh, bad thing. Do we have more archers anywhere else? Okay, some of you guys get out of there. I've learned my, I learned my lesson oh, in the yeah. first two waves. And some of you guys get out of there. We have far more manpower than this. Leave one in each one. Hey. Okay, there we go. Everyone come out. I'm we're re-implementing the draft. Everyone get out of there. Oh, yeah. This short-term thinking is going to get me killed. Uh. There we go. But I mean, you know, I have a nice long, long-term plan going on in the back of my mind. God help us. All right, uh, good arch. More archers coming out. More archers coming out. Forcible draft. Forcible draft. Oh, that's a lot of boys. That's a lot of boys. Are these guys going to help at all? All right, you know what? Catapult, just get over there because then you're defended by the other archers and I'm just going to have to kite them insanely over here. Let's see how these stone walls do because I felt like that was one of the more advanced contraptions that I took on. Right-o, right-o, gents. 
come on, chaps. Uh, good, uh, good, good, good. All right, something's happening. Man, look at all of that. Look at all of that stuff. That's nice. Look at all of them coming in angry. What is this down here? Oh, that's a bush. Literally just a bush. Uh, catapult, I would appreciate some support now, and I, I also think that these guys aren't doing anything, so let's get them in there. Uh, they are attacking our buildings. One, get in. Okay, they're definitely going to destroy the stone mine. Uh, I know, I don't know any UK slang. I'm gonna go back to my flat after this. Oh god, they're destroying the tower as well. Yeah, this tower is, it's, it's days are numbered. But I think, is that the end? Okay, we, that is the end of the wave, in fact. Uh, Oi, that's the end of the wave, mate. Are under no, they're gonna destroy me flat. Hey. No, not me flat. Uh, ooh. Ooh, no, don't destroy all of the houses. Uh, crap. Otherwise, you know, okay, that's the end. That's the end, though. That's the end. That thing might serve. Okay, don't walk directly into them, though, people. Come on. Okay, just fight. Just fight. Even if a few of you die, I need this to happen. Walk over there. Walk over there. Make more people. Put them right there. Our units are in combat. The city is under attack. Uh, what is what is what is happening here? What is happening here? Come on. Uh, that's a lot of dead guys. That's a lot of dead guys. Okay, tower did pretty well, gotta say. Impressed with the tower here, but now we have to go back into our own city and defend it because these guys just ignored the tower very rudely. No, they destroyed one of my farms. No, they destroyed two of my, three of my houses. I stand corrected. They're destroying the barracks as well. Come on, get out of there. Okay, don't even... Uh, ooh, that's bad. Unfortunately, they do just kind of ignore everything. They do kind of walk in a straight line and just... The city is under attack. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind here. We were pretty horribly outnumbered, though. I, I did think that was going to be the death of us. So they just come in every couple days and destroy oh, all of our houses, and then they reformat our defenses. But, uh, you know, we did make progress from wave 1 to wave 2, so... Feel pretty good about that, that we are still getting behind because it's never good to have them destroy this much stuff. I would like it if they attacked my they military first, though. Again. Very rude of them to come in and not care for their own lives when I care for my li life and my people's lives. Yeah, like, look at that. My whole military is just fine over here, and they're... They didn't even bother with them. No, I don't think we really need to restart. I, th I think we're okay, but I think it's just that the AI behaves in this way. I really didn't expect it to at all. The city is under attack. I mean, definitely not the best run, but... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who dis? Who dis? Okay, we are going to need more, uh, oh, yeah. more archers in that tower. Because now the enemies are getting bigger. I say that we put two into each one. You go in there. The Ooh, Oh, baby. A triple. Alright, right back to work. I mean, we have a lot of resources, so we can very quickly come back from that. And you know what? My houses were in the wrong formation anyway to begin with. That's alright. We'll live. We'll live. We don't need an army. We don't need a military at all until the day comes. Uh, yeah. We'll be okay. But let's now go for two archers in every tower until the night comes. Till that day comes. I do kind of wish that they would path and prioritize your army first, though, because I felt like we could have avoided that if they had done that. I know, like, it's typical to wish that your enemy would behave in the way that you want them to, but I feel like that's just, that's just rational. Why would people throw away their own lives to destroy other people's economy, you know? Social commentary notwithstanding. Like, why? Why? Yeah, like fish in a bit. Yeah, AI like fish in a bit. They just, they don't care for their own lives. It's like they're all just suicide bombers. It's awful. Horrible. Well, at least we can bury all of those dead people as well. Alright, get up a hospital because there's a lot of... 
Well, there's dead people already, but there's there's a lot more issues within that. Hmm. Might just go for normal houses. Uh, we'll leave the military over here, though, because a lot of these guys are going to rise from the dead. I don't think that Anton Chigurh can work this fast. Um, hmm. How quickly can we come back from this as well? How many builders do we have available? That's really the main concern. Many of you are homeless. Many of you are homeless. You'll probably get sick because you're homeless, and then you'll go to the hospital or something like that. Oh, no. Actually, they're just fine. What does it do? Increase dissatisfaction or something? No, they just live with a bag of berries on their back. Yeah, I wish they would path away from all the stuff I made, you know? Ah, oh, come on, I was just trying to build something here. Builder hut. Uh, we do have wood. You know, let's just build back as if we're already in, as if we're in phase one. I know it's not as good, but we can always upgrade these later on. Where are my builders at? Nice if you could just quickly see where the builders were. Homelessness, build more houses to avoid population homelessness. But sometimes in games like this, there's just no consequence for stuff like that. Um, stone mine ran empty. Ah, yeah. I just feel as though some of the resources are so limited that it's like, how can I... You know, I, I want to have a core that I can rely on, like a stable core in here. That would be nice. Like an apple core, you know? But I can't because it's just... I'm running out of resources in here. It's like I need a, a more lush, self-renewing set of resources. It's very difficult. I mean, anyway, that's all to say that it, it just ups the difficulty that much more. Day 23, and on day 26, we will probably die in the next wave, because I still haven't even gotten most of these things built back up. But alas. Anyway, I mean, that's all to say it's very nice that this game is difficult. The storage is full, and now, yeah, we, our entire operation is totally lopsided because we've run out of stone in most of these mines. I think I built them all at the same time. That one's gone. I would say one thing that I, that I is kind of a complaint is that it feels like there's a lot of stuff that's kind of trivial that's not automated. Like, it feels as though there's too many stone mine nodes... And I have to keep building them, and it's kind of dissatisfying that they keep running out. Which makes it more difficult, but makes for gameplay that feels a bit more punishing in that way. But I, I feel like that's a pretty easy thing to balance if they want to just give each stone node a little bit more, like, resources to it. Like, make the resources last for a longer time. Like, Factorio employs the same concept, but it's just that it's, it's a very long time before you actually have to get up and move your base. You know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, it is very scarce. Yes, rocks are very scarce in real life. I guess that's one bit of, like, feedback or commentary. But again, this is pretty early into early access, and there's still debug stuff and, like, um, features and stuff like that. I don't know. They'll, they'll, I'm guessing that they'll add a lot. Like most games they do in early access. Again. But, I mean, still, like, for a game that just got out of early access, really good. I'm surprised how much I'm liking this, actually. I'm... Far more interesting than I thought it would be. And it always, like, I gotta say that a big difficulty ceiling is always, um, always something that keeps me coming back. Big difficulty. Yeah, and then that's just a slap in the face. Man, I like that, though. I like that it's a slap in the face. I think the zombies might be a bit too strong. Because we're playing on the easiest difficulty as well. Like, mind you, mind you that. Like, uh... I feel like I should be able to. Ma I feel bad about myself. <laughs> no, I, I'm. I am liking this. Hmm. Is there any hope, or should I just uh, yeet us into day 27 and then like get us all killed and have that be kind of interesting? No, I mean I definitely think we're going to die in the next wave because it's day 27. But I feel like you've seen a lot that at least gives you like an early picture of this game. I'll definitely be coming back to it when I can play it a little bit better. But I, I, I think it's very fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the punishing difficulty. I'm trying to think of what I would do differently, though, the next time. Because I felt like I did a pretty good job. Maybe I wouldn't have gone right up to stone. Maybe I would have stayed with wood for a longer time. You Let's know, build die. wide. Then build big. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like I upgraded to some of the strong stuff a little too early on. I thought that would be a good strategy. And I definitely got fa uh, farther than my buildings. first playthrough. But look at how sick all of my people are for no reason. Sad. 
Sad. Janana Forever and Talwood. Thank you very much for the bits, my friends. Ah. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Pay my peasants better? Uh, well, I mean, you know, these are like upscale peasants, not like those uh, bad peasants that attack the us. City is under attack. They're dissatisfied about wage growth in the economy. Um, mm. Yeah, now we've reached this horrible point because look at all the wood that we have. Could we still build? We buildings. could still build houses, but now we're just kind of trapped in the dark ages. I, I think another thing, though, too, is that I didn't really get how some of the formations worked of things, and it seems like that this is a far better formation for houses where you have spaces between them, you know? Um, where you actually have spaces between them. The barracks here, but you really need to leave space, space for everything just to keep the veins flowing in the, in the, uh... The city is the under game. attack. Where is the city attack from attack from? Oh, are they catapulting me? Where are they catapulting me they from? They're attacking our buildings. Oh, there is a there is a zomb over there. Okay, get that. Excuse me, get that zomb. Primary advice is to get more builders and only build defenses when you know the direction the enemy is. The yeah, is under yeah. Attack. I think that's true. Like honestly, if we had been a little bit more agile in building defenses, uh, that would have been good. So what I might have done in the future would have been. Let's see. We have good. We have good population now. I was thinking the army would have been good, but I think that the army is a little underpowered compared to the defensive structures themselves. I also think the range of these towers isn't that far, and you'd probably be better. Yeah, builders. Like build more builders at the beginning. What a kind of unintuitive thing, but definitely important. And it only requires wood. It doesn't require that much else. You can always upgrade it. So if we had just built, like, four builders around our main city, we could have built defenses really fast when it came in and then just focus on getting so many resources. I still think that we did play the first wave really well, but I think after that, it becomes more of a matter of just building up fast. So first wave was good, but then second wave, third wave, we did kind of take a hit, and that got us killed a little bit more. It's too little too late now, though. Um, do we have stone? Yeah, we don't have stone either. Yeah, we're just, we're just dead. Well, we could just double up on wood walls. Totally, totally. Oh, the stone actually does replenish. Huh. Stone replenishes? What the hell? How does that make any sense? Okay, um, no stone to my... Does it? Wait, does it? Or am I, Oh no, I'm sorry. The stone wasn't replenishing. Those ones just ran out. Okay, I misspoke there. I misspoke. Destroy. Enemy forces are approaching. Empty stone deposit. Okay, yes. Yeah, so then that's cons oh, yeah. uh, confirmed. All right, let's just um die now. Let's die. Uh -huh. I'm going to just. I want to give you a good spectacle because I know I'm going to die here. So let's just hey. recruit everyone as an archer and then. Hey. Everyone will just burn in hell after the end of this. Um, all right, so this is um, this is diplomacy is not an option. I actually am I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I I wish I had checked this one out a little bit earlier. Ooh, okay, but they are coming on the stone wall. Will they be able to destroy the stone wall, or will they be flummoxed by our amazing defenses? Okay, good. We got two towers going. We got two towers going. Uh, don't try to get into that tower. There we go. They are attacking the walls. Wow. I am impressed by my walls. Uh, I wish I could see them all up close. This is nice. I live for this. I live for this. Let's see how they're doing, though. They're go definitely going to destroy one of these. Can I get more of you to be archers? Come on, hire everyone. Yeah, end all professions and turn them all into soldiers, right? Well, I think we also have the potential for massive, massive cities by the time of the descends. And can they get through there? No, they can't. So corners are pretty overpowered. And honestly, double, double walls are probably overpowered too in this. Are they going to destroy this? They'll probably destroy that. But hey! Ooh, we didn't die. We won't die. Wow. Okay, so the one area where I did build stone walls was super strong. Wow, I did not expect that that wave would be that easy. Okay, we're still in the game. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, yes, baby. So we'll do the critical. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
I'll, I'll borrow that meme for a minute. I'll borrow that, shamelessly borrow that meme. Okay, now we have a massive army. Okay, now we can bring back, we can bring back, uh, this playthrough for the dub. All right, what are, what are we out of now? Yes, celebration is heard in the streets, my friends. Oh, whoops, uh, that was wrong. I wish that there were a way to just cancel without having to get the resource refund. I should do that faster. But these types of games really do bring me back to, like, StarCraft. You know, clicks per second and all that and whatnot. Alright, just had to make it so difficult to get stone, though. Yeah, I would appreciate fewer stone nodes and, like, stone nodes that last longer. What I'll probably end up doing is assign fewer workers to each stone mine just so that they last longer. I, I think that would be one manual thing that could make this uh, a lot more predictable. Okay, there we go. Um, who knows where they'll come from, but we can build builders next. Build fountains. Uh, double pop with the radius. Yes, that's true, actually. We should do that. So now if we go into the other, like, civic buildings, so if we build fountains, plus two people live in each house within the radius, so that's six out of six. Okay, that is pretty good. But you got to think that there's an opportunity cost for that as well. So how big is the fountain? Yeah, and it would be nice if I could just trace things out, because it is kind of making it difficult to plan my city. Uh -huh. Uh, we do have enough food. We're, we're just pretty much subsisting off of wood and food. Those stone walls were so good. Can we automatically repair completely destroyed things to kind of like the hammer icon in RimWorld? I think that would be a nice feature if we had that. Um, we'll do that. There we go. Nice that the walls build themselves back up, though. It kind of reminds me of how strong walls were in Age of Empires. Uh, just so good they were. They were so good, the walls in Age of Empires. Hmm. Stone mine too. Maximum takes 13 seconds for... So does this actually make it more efficient or faster? Because otherwise I would not even think it would be worth it to mine these things out. Stone to a storage. So then I see stone mine too as being almost worthless. I mean, if they go through stone that fast already... Like, let's just de-assign de workers from this place. Four to four. Yeah, I don't want that many workers on these things because they'll use up the stone too fast. Like, I want it to be predictable. You know, I want a riskless economy. I don't want booms and busts. I want just a sh straight line going up. That's what I want. Mm, there we go. I have all the wood I could need. Yeah, I do have all the wood I could need. Can I position archers on the mountain? Unfortunately, you can't position archers on the mountain, but I think that's all right. That's impassable. I think it's just deemed impassable terrain. Uh, could we have a very large military too? We could probably go out and just cause trouble, but I think I'm going to leave them in here. Hmm. Seems like a very fun game for just spamming stuff though. Hmm. Okay, I will build an iron mine because I don't have even one of them. You know, finding storage isn't really such an issue. Okay, you know what? Let's just march these guys out, because I might as well see what else there is out there in the world. Oh, yeah, we'll speed up time a bit. La 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 la. Oi. Oi. Our troops are under attack. Okay, that's pretty good. Look at that. Oi. Oi, look at that. I mean, with, with enough people, the power rule just kind of takes over, you know? Despite the fact that they have a lot of people, so do we, so do we. So if we speed up time here and we just go in like this, then look, we just pooped on him. Oh, not quite, because there's always one guy in the front who's vulnerable, but mostly pooped on him. I'm all right with that. Let's just get more archers because I don't have very good planning skills. Yeah, I don't like clicking, that's fine. All right, good. Uh, and this will unlock more powers for us as well. Yeah, I don't see why you would build like anything other than archers though a little bit. Mm. There is that. Yeah, if we have them, okay, if we have them go out and explore, exploring is rewarded because we do get more of those crystals and that's useful. All right, fair enough. Now we have 59, arch ooh, that seems pretty good. 59 archers. Probably better would be to have like a thousand. Swordsmen not good or do you just not need them? Probably better than I'm giving them credit for, but I... Quite honestly, I'm not... 
I was never good at RTSs. Like, I tried to be good at RTSs for a long time, but the amount of commitment and actions per second it requires to be good at RTSs... I mean, which necessarily means I will be bad at this game. But it's just not really a skill set I cared to gain. There's always somebody who's better than you and you always get angry. <laughs> I would play so much Company of Heroes when I was a kid and I would get so mad at the game. Because people were just really good at the game. Um, very fun, but also very frustrating, too. At times. Okay, good. We've got those crystals. Let's go ahead and build an obelisk, because why not, right? I might as well give you some of the powers that you came here for. Uh, astral ray and mass healing. So why wouldn't you just wait until the very end to build it? You know, like, max out your economy and then just poop on them. Mass healing. Mass healing I see as being not as useful. The astral ray is more exciting, so I think we don't even need this. Let's just do an astral ray. Because I like the astral ray better than all of the other power-ups. We have enough for one, so that'll help us out with the next wave. What are we at? Day 31. We have till day 33. Okay, I'm seeing this as being helpful. Let's go ahead and build a couple more builder towers. Um, because we might be able to build up an actual defense before the next one comes in. Let's make sure we have walls on every side as well. Um, yeah, we'll do one there. We'll do that so we can get those resources in it. Good. Good. Oi. Oi. Is there a victory condition or is it just survive? Ah, uh, yeah, I will. I mean, my defeat is inevitable. I, I don't remember if I said that at the very beginning. But yeah, I, you can't actually win in endless mode. There is a campaign to the game, which is quite nice for early access. You wouldn't always expect that. But at, at this point, I'm just... I want to build a big army. I don't know why. Okay, this thing also got depleted as well. Oh, no, wow. We had so many trees and now we don't have any trees. Oh, that really is difficult, though. Like, planning your expansion and just as soon as you got all... Uh, so, you know what this is kind of making me realize is that you need to kind of plan that everything in the middle is ultimately going to be like houses. Houses and other fixed structures because that's where you want your population to live. Your resource collection needs to be growing along the outside because you know that you're going to have to expand. And then, okay, this is making a little bit more sense to me and making me seem like a bit of an idiot in what I was saying a few minutes ago. But the truth is that... Like, you need to think of all this resource collection as just a temporary thing. I think the only ones that will always renew will be berry bushes, weirdly enough. So that's kind of like a permanent fixture, but... A, li a little awkward, a little bit awkward, but I I'm willing to live with it. I have to live with it, I don't have any choice in the matter. Um, and walls are also necessary because enemies will just kind of walk past your walls too. Um, okay, let's go ahead and build just like here. Seeing as that is true, couldn't we just do that? Oh yeah, we do need a gate. Crap. Put a gate, like, right there. Put a wall in there. And everything does kind of come together nicely, too. I'll add that on as well. Like, all the auto-build structures is, is good. Everything seems to be kind of linking together well. Like, from just, like, a technical standpoint, this game is really very well polished. I mean, like, I haven't had any slowdown. My computer is still really Enemy cold, and there's a lot of approaching. stuff going on on screen. I don't know. I mean, at least to a lay person, that's how it seems. All right, enemies coming from over there. We're actually very well prepared oh, this yeah. time. Let's put people in that tower. Huh? Let's put other people over here. Okay. Here. Huh? Put one guy in that tower, and then, whoops, let's slow that down. Everyone get out. Everyone get out. I'm not getting any, like, really weird pathfinding stuff either. Like, the pathfinding is... I know I say, yeah, enemies walk that way, but it's also, like, stuff is pretty good. The one thing I would like is if they didn't try to keep garrisoning the tower when there's when the tower is full. I believe that happened. But these are, like, little things. I think this is the bug. Need multiple expansion walls, kind of like Attack on Titan. Yes, yes, yes. So, ultimately, you're kind of building this layered defense, which is, like, uh... Kind of like the... I don't know, the circles on a tree trunk, I suppose, is the best analogy for that. Uh, that's a good way to think of it. Yeah, you kind of, you build like a strong exterior, and then you put a gate on that. 
and then you expand out past there and then you do new resource collection on your next set of walls and that way you have a tiered defense so that you kind of uh, mitigate any losses if bad things do happen. Oh, they came from the direction I did not expect them to come from. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, let's get in there. Everyone else go over here and then some of you will get into the thing. Get into the thing, get into the thing. But again, I don't really see why you would build swordsmen. Guessing towers give a percent boost to the range. Yeah, I'm not fully clear on... Uh... Oh, you can place archers on the walls themselves? Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see that. Wow, I really don't know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yeah, why not? Let's put archers on the walls. Looks cool. I don't... I'm trying to figure out how that could functionally differ. That kind of changes this, though, because that way... Uh, I don't need to build towers every few feet. I could just do this. This is a nice way to kind of spread out your defense better. Okay, I like that. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. Oh, and then we could do this. You know what? I'm going to take these people out of here, and I'm going to put... I, I probably should have done all this maneuvering before, but... Just, I think that this looks right. Much better, much better. Okay, that's good. That is good. Yeah, see, these guys are all still trying to garrison, and I totally missed that right there. Where is my... Where even did my catapult go? Yeah, they're still trying to garrison. My catapult's like, help! Help! Uh, okay, guys, get a... Okay, yeah, I'm sorry I said that stuff about the pathfinding right before that happened. Alright, a couple of little things right there, but still nice. I mean, look at that! There's nothing like a, a well-optimized game. It is it is well-optimized, though, it seems. I don't know what I'm talking about. Again, I'm just kind of an idiot who has no idea what he's talking about. Oh, I didn't see that. Didn't notice that. Uh, all right, let's go. We have a couple minutes. We have a couple of minutes. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, we're going to have to put a lot of people up north. They are attacking the walls. So that's how it works. Okay, so then it is similar to they are billions in that way, in that they just kind of pour in. Uh, no, it, it will be a dark day today. I still think that these stone walls might hold up, though. Come on, guys, we're still alive, we're still alive. There we go. Yes, everyone will maybe live through this awful thing. Yeah, okay, stop walking into that. <laughs> okay, okay, a couple little things there, a couple little things there. Mmm, ass. Okay, ah, this is a very nice way to look at the game. This reminds me of really old school RTSs. Nope, uh, don't say, don't say that we're dead yet. We thought we were dead before, but we weren't dead. We were very much not dead. Okay, those guys are dead, though. D those guys are already dead. Oh my wamu. They are attacking the walls. Uh, okay, that sh side should be okay. Yeah, see, these guys are fine. The city Not a problem over attack. here anymore. Not a problem over here anymore, aside from the things that we lost, which they were few. They were few. They are attacking the walls. Uh, Stop trying to get in there. All right, uh, good. Good. These walls will be okay, but, you know, if you can keep everything at least alive, then your builders can just get back at it and do their work. Hey, you know, I might actually be ready for the game on the next difficulty, now that I keep all this stuff in mind. Still over there, but that's pretty much it. That was a little bit of an abrupt end to the music. It's almost as if there was, like, a cello player in the background just going to town, like, oh, I thought he was going to die. <laughs> like, just a very ominous cellist, you know? <laughs> oh, I love the word cellist. All right, well, now that we know that thing about the walls, I can spread my guys out on the walls and actually have them do something. I still think it might not be worth it, though, because... Like, look, of course we want to move our men to the zone where the enemies are attacking the most. Of course we do. Of course, that's important. Oof. Oof. 
Alright, get on these other walls because it looks good when you're in these walls. I imagine, though, that we'll start to see waves from multiple directions or something like that soon enough. Uh, we did pretty good on resources there. Let's go ahead and build more house. More house. Yes, more house. Mm, whoops. Ah, oh, damn it. I did it again, didn't I? I would like a build copy button. That would be good. Hmm. Good. All right. That's pretty good. All right. We're, I think we're, I overdid it on the food before. Somehow we've made it up in the world. Um, do we have enough iron? Yeah, we'll be all right. So we don't actually necessarily need a tower. Well, I'm going to build a tower anyway, just to uh, cause controversy. There we are. Good. Uh, the catapult range is crazy on the tower. Yeah, if we manage to get the... Ah, yes, that is, that is true. I mean, ultimately, I guess you just kind of want a series of catapults that are supporting one another. Unfortunately, I've got this. But it was funny to me that the enemies came through here, and look, there was just a gap in the wall. They could have just walked through over here. But they decided, let's go against this wall anyway, which tells me that they aren't using the A-star pathfinding algorithm. They're probably, which says, like, if there's no way through, try to find a different way. They're probably just using a go-in-a-straight-line pathfinding algorithm, which I gotta admit is actually kind of refreshing, because so many other things use A-star, and I think that we as gamers are just kind of, like, so used to seeing it that it's, um... It, it can be, like, a little bit awkward or uncomfortable when we see anything else. But very good. Very good. Mm, what else is there to do over here? We've got that tower covered. Okay, I think we should just go on, like, a, a parade of violence. I really enjoyed running around the map with Arches. And I, oh, I totally forgot to use my Astral Ray in that fight. I love any excuse to use my Astral Ray. And I am starting to see how it's more focused on the military, too. Yeah, I know. Build the gates so that my people can... Well, we can always just kind of demolish stuff now and then do them later on. I suppose what I should say is I'm not really... I want to play the game somewhat well, but I'm a little bit more just like... Let me just do some interesting stuff in the game. Which was mainly this. Uh, Alright. Men... Go, oh, man. Alright, now what other things can we do? Are we almost ready to upgrade? Not at all. We do need more storage of goods, and we did start to cap out on our good storage. Whenever your attention is on something else, it's good to have that going. So let's go ahead and just build uh, storage. We need Town Hall 2. We have Town... We already have Town Hall 2. We just need 60 wood, though. Okay, but our wood collection has really just, like, crapped out completely. Oh, shoot. Man, they really aren't. The enemies are getting significantly stronger, it seems like. Wow. They're pretty good. Why are there deer? Just enormous deer running around. Okay, you stay there. Stay there by the wall. Um, hmm. Missing a whole research tree. Bottom right flask. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm, Town Hall 2. Sport shoes. Oh yeah, this could make our people move faster and everything. Uh, I feel, I feel like a dum dum. I've missed this. Mongoose reflexes. Well, we just completely ignored the res research for the whole game. Um, hmm. Open market. What else is that? Build market to trade. Oh, there's even more to this. Okay, then that's that's quite a lot. I still think we got to the core gameplay loop though. Nice though that you might be able to trade one resource for another. Hmm. Okay, this is much more fully full-fledged than I really gave it credit for. Let's keep on going around here. Our troops are under attack. Mm, storage too. I still think storage will be useful, so let's go ahead and build another one, and then I think we'll have to expand out our resources again. I'll do another lumber mill. I think right here, this forest looks great. I, I think you can visually tell when an area is going to be good for resources too. You know, like. More trees equals more wood. It's not like they'll just get an infinite number of trees. Or an infinite amount of wood from, like, one tree. Like you can in some games, you know what I mean? Have I played the Going Medieval February update? I completely forgot about that game, but enjoyed the videos. Ah, thank you. Uh, no, but it's actually been on my radar, because I'm surprised that that game 
did not do even better than it did in terms of like content being created for it. Um, everybody was ooh big sad. How can they stand up? I really want there to be more guys there. Then. No, I'm liking this. I feel like I might have to give it a have to do this on the main channel. I'm wondering how I could how I could spin it in a way that would be interesting to my audience. Well, either way, I mean, I'll just keep playing it here because I'm enjoying it. I'm thinking like of a, nah, I don't know, it, may, it might not be like a philosophical shitpost video, but it, it'll be something. It could be more one of those like simulation game videos that I do. I've kind of started trying to do different types of videos so that I can just cover more genres of games. Oh man, their catapults are actually very good against us too. Get that jewel and the, oh, crap, get that and then get out of here. So expanding seems less useful than I had anticipated. Okay, now we can get that catapult, though. Get the catapult, baby. Yes. Revenge. Revenge. Gameplay initiatives with the initial release at Going Medieval. That Yeah, a lot of people thought of it as kind of like a tech demo, the original uh, release of Going Medieval. I think it's definitely one of those ones to wait on a little bit more. It's reminding me a little bit more of this, but this feels a little bit more, I don't know, shall we say complete, I guess? Like, Going Medieval, they still had to implement a lot of the trade systems and stuff like that. And there was a lot to consider with that one. But that's also, I would say, a more ambitious project in terms of, like, what you'll ultimately be able to do in the game. And I know that a lot of it takes after RimWorld, and, like, they've kind of said that too outright. Man, look at all of that. All units are in combat. All right. Bring back my army. I do want to have an army in the end. All right, day 40 is going to be the next one. Are they ready to go back in there? They can go back in there with the gate. Nice. And we can open or... Can we open or close it? Gates are open. We have to do that manually. All right. It would be nice if they had a feature like... You know how in Age of Empires how the gate automatically opens or closes for your people? That would be nice. Yeah. I always liked that a lot. Because it's like, this gate is the first computer. Remember that in Age of Empires? When they... It had like motion sensing mechanisms in it. It was some of the most advanced technology ever known to man. That gate in Age of Empires. Like that gate. 350, we still need to be storing more, but... Mm, I would say one thing that doesn't really lend itself to doing a lot is every playthrough is... I mean, I'll tell you this from a video standpoint, every playthrough is bound to be more or less the same. One reason I can always kind of keep going back to RimWorld is because every playthrough is Our totally different. Are under attack. So... You know, even stuff like they are billions, though, I, I would have to kind of wait on to do another one. Okay, now we're equipped to do uh, two to, th or what is it, three to maybe even four astral rays. I want to get out astral rays in the next combat because now I am starting to feel that, like, my doom will close in on me, whether I like it or not. 79 population growth per day. I still could be growing my economy so much. The thing about these games, though, that I always find, like, interesting is just the fact that, like, there's literally no end to how good you could get. You could always... <gasps> they're coming from two places. Two is more than one. Two is more than one, guys. Ooh, two is more than one. It most certainly is. Okay. Um, hmm. They do be coming in two and a, two minutes and 50 seconds. Nearly got into the content from the project center. Oh, thank you very much, Laszlo. Enemies won't go through an open gate in this... Oh, the enemies don't go through an open gate? Okay, so then it's functionally more or less the same. That's good to know. That's good to know. So they'll just destroy it. Okay, so then I stand corrected. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, you know, I think the one thing that I take back, too, about, like, troop upgrades is... There is troop upgrade. There are troop upgrades, but there aren't veterancies, it seems... Uh, sharpshooter skill. Okay, so there's actually active skills in here. I don't know if I'm really up the. I like most of my stuff to just be passive. Mm, sturdy concrete technology. Increase the level one stone defensive buildings. Stone defense. Okay, that would be good. Uh, whoops. Do we need to pay any money for this? Hmm. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. 
Uh, some of it, it seems. Or did I already pay for that one? Well, I already paid for it. Huh? It's going to happen after they raid. Uh, so that's no good. But, uh, oh well. Oh well. Sure. Alright, where are they going to be coming from this time? I can train about 40 archers and I, I think we won't run out of food. Oh no, not enough wood. Alright. Well, it was a nice life. It was a nice life. Let's man those walls. Man the walls. And something isn't fully repaired here. I guess that's because I don't have builders on that, though. Builders hut. I don't even have enough for the builders hut, so alas. Yeah, like this thing. They keep trying to garrison that. Alright, let's just do this. One guy on each, one guy on each. Alright, that's pretty fast, though. Good. One more on there. Let's just get the rest of these, and we're all probably dead. Uh, get some people in there, too, because they'll probably be coming on that section. Oh, my auto repair is up. Uh, oh, you're right. I had my auto repair on, and then I turned it off. That might get us killed. Go back over there, because I think they're just going to be coming on that side. Um, Enemy forces are approaching. Come on, builders. Build faster. <laughs> Build faster. Fortunately, I do have my death ray, though. We haven't even begun to see the power of the death ray. No, we haven't. All right, they're coming. They're coming. My research will be done in 30 seconds, though, so it will happen, like, midway through the attack. I wonder if they'll come from this side as well. Ooh, there they go. Okay, let's... They are attacking the walls. Let's death ray them now. Controllable ray that strikes everything under it. This is my favorite thing. Yes, yes. Research okay, complete. so that cost five. We've got a couple more of those coming, though. Are we using all of our archers? Archers get into formation over here. And I'm going to use buildings. another one. Actually, will I need another death ray? No, I just kind of want it to get more desperate and bad. No, actually, we are screwed. Yeah. Goodbye, people. They are attacking our citizens. Goodbye, totally accurate battle simulator people. It's kind of like combined tabs with that. Oh, that's some people. All right, I will need one more of those. They are attacking the walls. I mean, is there like a limit to that? I feel as though I'm misusing it somewhat. Our people are under attack. Man, that's a lot of guys, though. I mean, that's a lot of boys. Our fortifications are under attack. Hmm. Okay, and more coming in from up there. Yeah, that, they washed. They will wash upon our defenses like water on a rock. Our troops are under attack. Damn. They are attacking again. All that being said, having one like salient tower just kind of makes the whole thing more painful. We may die here. We may die here. Oh, but they haven't come beyond the... Ah, so they are still attacking the wall. They aren't perfectly pouring like water on a rock. But it's the same idea. Same idea, more or less. I think that we will lose this section. I think this might be the end. But I've said that before and it wasn't the end. Right, I'm going to send half of them down there because this area is clearly not doing too particularly well. Ooh, okay, now it is. Now I think we are dead. Am I ar are my archers hitting the wall and not the enemies? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think they are shooting over. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not entirely sure about that. Ooh, okay. I'm 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 happy to watch uh, Rome burn playing the uh, playing the uh, whatever Nero was playing the loot. Our fortifications are under attack. Ah, so cool to watch it happen, though. All right. So, that was my second attempt at this game. I tried once, 